so when you enter the room this is the door what's good youtube welcome and welcome back to my channel this is the video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for for like literally ever i moved into my apartment about a month ago so i'm officially going to be giving you guys a tour i still don't have everything that i want for my room and for my living space so if you guys have any recommendations for things that i can add to spice up whatever i have going on let me know in the comments but before i get into the video i would like to thank ikea for sponsoring it all the ideas and opinions in here are my own however without them i really wouldn't be where i am ikea really came in clutch so whenever i reference an ikea product or you see one on the screen i'm going to be putting over it how much it costs what it's called so that you can go and cop some ikea products of your own and if you're wondering everything is going to be in the description down below if you just want to head over at the end of this video i live in a student apartment i do live off campus but it does cater to students so you'll see in the layout there's very very simple simplistic yeah i only really plan on staying here for like a year or two it's a lot better than the dorm not exactly what i want in my own space but you know i have to take baby steps so i'm actually going to start with my room since that is where we are everything like i said before is literally from ikea you can probably take a shot for every time that i say ikea actually don't do that because you probably won't make it so yeah as you can see right behind me or actually let me do this professionally so when you enter the room this is the door this is the view that you get um actually on the right hand side is my closet but it also doubles as a mirror which is really nice because i was gonna buy a mirror but then i realized that i really didn't need one this is also the outfit of the day all from boohoo this is my closet and it's really messy so i'm not gonna get too in depth but yeah i have my clothes and my shoes i need to get a shoe rack because i have a lot of shoes but yeah this is really nice and it's a mirror and then to the left you have my bathroom now i do share this place with a roommate and we have different setups for bathrooms you're not going to see hers but i have a shower and it looks like this and then there's my toilet i have some like cleaning supplies under there and then up here is where i keep all of my stuff that i like to use in my daily routine um yeah that's a fake plant you probably recognize some of this stuff from my ikea apartment haul video but if you haven't watched that make sure you go check that out but yeah really nothing special i have basically like my necessities a shower toilet and a sink and then under there i just keep like extra storage for stuff in case i run out of that stuff so yeah that's the bathroom um and then we come into my room and we have my desk area this is also where i do my makeup as you can see but i also tend to edit my videos and do my homework on my imac that i just recently got actually and yeah i actually do use this area a lot and to the left of it i have this huge ikea stand i actually had two dresses here originally but i put them underneath my bed so that i could have more storage space on this first shelf we have some books that i've honestly yet to read i actually read this one but these are other ones i want to read this is another fake plant and then i have some candles and then i have a picture of me and my grandfather on this next shelf i have all my sunglasses this is a succulent it's actually real and it's from ikea and then we have a picture of me and my mom all of my silver jewelry because i really don't wear gold jewelry and then i have my purse right here and on the very bottom shelf we have my printer and just some other technology stuff in this area i really don't pay any mind And usually right here I have a plant, but for the aesthetics of this video, I put it over there. 
so yeah it's typically over here so like just imagine it like right there and then as you guys can see we have jet down here he's just chilling you really can't see him but he is a guinea pig if you guys haven't already you know got acquainted you want to say anything yeah he's a little bit camera shy so we're gonna just move on um as you can see this is the view that i get from my room i actually love it i'm in the middle of a city but as you can see there is a lot of greenery so it's really nice and in the morning the sun actually rises this way so it gets really bright and i get this very nice orange light to wake up to and then if we keep going this is my bed this is a full size bed, major upgrade from the twin size top bunk that I had last year. So I just want to thank not only God, but Jesus for this opportunity. Um, as you can see to the right is actually a real plant that I have from Ikea that needs to be watered. It's actually kind of dying, but we're not going to talk about that. And to the left, I have this lamp. This isn't just any lamp. This is a dimmable lamp, you know, adult things. It's actually like, it's pretty cool. As you can see, you can change the light setting not that you guys really care but if you guys have been sticking around since my high school videos that is my chicago tapestry that i've kept for literally ever and if you want to cop look in the description down below and then also i have my favorite throw blanket and this is just super nice it costs like 60 bucks but i think that it was well worth it because it's very soft on both sides and it just adds to the look of the room obviously i'm not done decorating my room yet but as you guys can see i'm going for this like bohemian minimalistic vibe i really don't know i think that i'm going to get some string lights for up here she's still in the works but for the time being this is what she looks like very very simple not too much going on but it's kind of just what i need and now we're going to go into the kitchen and living room area as you can see this is my kitchen which is actually connected to the living room but first starting off with the kitchen we have a nice trash can i have a beautiful 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 dishwasher and i promise you it's been a major key because i hate doing the dishes i have this dish drying rack and then obviously, as you guys can see, I didn't really care enough to do the dishes for this video. I apologize in advance, but I was, yeah. Moving on, I have just some more appliances on the counter. We have my stove, which I actually kind of hate because it's electric and I do like the typical gas stove. As you can see, it does get a little bit dirty when things spill but beggars can't be choosers i guess then i have my microwave and i have my fridge a little peek inside um yeah nothing really special going on in here but yeah and then this is where you enter the apartment from i have a little shoe rack over here when people come and they just drop their shoes off we have this TV stand and TV that actually came with the apartment. We did not buy it, but we did get a fire stick for the TV when we want to watch movies or Netflix and stuff like that. And then moving on into my living room area, it came with this very depressing like gray furniture. So we kind of had to do the best with what we had. Everything, as you can see, is from Ikea. But yeah, this is our little living area. Once again, trying to, I guess, invite nature into the room. I really don't know what I was doing. Please don't hire me as your interior designer. But once again, we're still not done. As you can see, the walls are very, very bare, but we do have the pillows, the throw, the rug, and a little lamp over there when it gets dark. So yeah, that is a living room area. And we do have some like games underneath there for whenever my friends come over. We have Cards Against Humanity and other stuff like that. And then last but really not least is this little eating area that we have. Once again, not a huge fan of it, but I did put these cushions on it. And then I got this fruit bowl and just got some fruit that I actually do eat to put in it. So yeah, my apartment like 
It really isn't that big, but it gives me what I need. I do plan on staying here for like a year or two maybe because it's really efficient. I have a shuttle that takes me to and from school so I don't have to drive. And a lot of my friends live in this building too. So it was kind of the best of both worlds. It's really just like a dorm, but off campus if that makes any sense. So yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Not much to it, but once again, I am just living by myself, you know, I don't have any kids, thankfully. I am going to be giving a merch shout out. Okay, so my next merch shout out goes to, I think it's Shaylee.Eileen, I'm not quite sure, but thank you so much for copying some merch. It really does help a lot, and if you would like a merch shout out, all you have to do is cop some merch in the description down below, tag me on either Instagram or Twitter, and you can be featured for a merch shout out. So yeah, once again, if you guys have any suggestions as to how to decorate this place, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing, let me know down in the comments and then let me know also what your favorite part of my apartment is. I mean, there's really only like three main spots, but my favorite part of my apartment would be my bedroom. I'm trying to make it more into a vibe and a place that I really like want to come to because as y'all know, last year I hated my room. I hated going into it and I just didn't feel like I was walking into my own space. So my goal for this space is to really make it my own. So yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling because nobody really cares. I hope that you guys enjoyed the apartment tour. And yeah, if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.